Hello and welcome to Digital Exposure TV. Today I'm going to show you how to convert your DSLR footage using compressor into Apple ProRes 422. Okay, so let's get started. All you need to do is open up Compressor, which is this icon here. You'll have Compressor as an extra added bonus software with Final Cut Pro. Now, all you need to do is this is your palette here. This is where you'd have your video. You click Add File on the top left here. Find the video footage that you want, either one piece of video or multiple ones. Click Open. Here's an example, I've used the Digital Exposure TV three-dimensional logo, as you can see on the right there in the preview. And you'll see the video has appeared here. Now it says drag settings and destination here. Now your settings are here on the left at the bottom, destinations are next to it. Now I don't bother dragging destinations there, I've had issues with that in the past. So what I do is I just submit it after I've picked the settings I want and it appears on the desktop as a default. So if you're having issues as well, don't drag a destination there, leave it blank and just pick your um, settings and then it will automatically turn up on your desktop. Okay, so let's get started. As you go down here on the settings, go to Apple, then go to Formats. Go further down, click on QuickTime, and you'll find your Apple codecs are there. Now, the one that everybody talks about that you convert your um, DSLR footage into is Apple ProRes 422 HQ, which stands for high quality. That's the one that everyone uses to get their DSLR footage uh, edit ready, as they say. So you click on that, drag it over to your palette, let go and then it's all ready. Then all you need to do is click submit and then you can name it and I'll just put test for now and then I'll click submit and you'll see on the bottom right here the job is starting to work. It will take a little while depending on what video it is and there you go it's kind of jumped to uh, 15 seconds remaining already and it's even nearly done and we're done so if we just exit compressor you don't need to save what you've done because now our video is here on the desktop and it's in higher quality much more easier to edit look how sharp and smooth that is and this also this codec will prevent you from having Also, this codec will prevent you from having any issues like anti-aliasing in post-production, drop frame rates, that kind of thing. So there you go, it's that simple. Then once you've got all of your footage, you can put it into Final Cut Pro or Adobe After Effects or what have you and start editing. So there you go, that's how you convert your DSLR footage into ProRes. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and hit that like button.